I'll show you the lightest configuration. Jet MK1, the Victorinox Bantam, 420 grams. Heaviest flashlight that I have, the Rebar phone wallet keys. 682 grams, almost 700 grams. I have to have thick jeans to carry this with me. Hello friends, welcome to another episode of Pinoy Blade Hunter. And for this episode, we are going to find out how much does your EDC weigh? EDC, for those who do not know, is everyday carry. So this is uh, what I usually carry with me uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. Some on a casual day, uh, no bags, no pouches. And sometimes I have a pouch, sometimes I have a bag. So we measure first what I do carry every day with or without a pouch. My phone my wallet and my keys so in my keys I have already some um, basic tools uh, these are from SOS survival outdoor shop this is from Pathfinder gear this is from I forgot where I got this from it's a pry bar pry tool with a mini wrench thing and a bottle opener aside from of course my keys how much do I carry every day, even without knives, even without flashlights? 339 grams. So one fourth of a kilo is 250 grams. Now I'm gonna show you my usual carry for a light day. I definitely always carry one flashlight. This is the Jet Beam Jet 1 MK. Sometimes I carry this. This is the Spyderco Delica stainless steel. If we weigh them together, 159 grams. The Jet One MK weighs 48 grams, so about 50 grams. It's very light, very light. It's powered by one 14500 battery uh, or a AA battery. It has three modes, low, medium, and bright. Most of the time, I carry this. On light days, I usually carry these. This is a Victorinox Swiss knife, Bantam model, just the knife blade and the bottle opener slash can opener slash uh, screwdriver. I just replace the scales with leather. 79 grams total, about 80 grams. Just the Bantam weighs 33 grams. Plus the flashlight is about 80 grams. It's very light. Another light thing I carry is this one. Sometimes a uh, Japanese Higonokami that I got from a surplus shop. See, it's uh, well used. Patina. 87 grams total. Anything below, I think, 100 grams is, I would consider light as a combo. The other light option will be this one the Sanrenmu knife I forgot the model of this Sanrenmu knife 80 grams these are what I carry for light days when I do not carry a pouch I do not carry anything just uh, kept inside the pockets and will not put a big bulge in my pocket another one is this Camilo's knife 902. I got this from Marina Arcade in the Upampanga. Oh, it's more than 100 grams. It's 105 grams. It's heavier because it has two blades and uh, metal locking mechanisms. And sometimes I carry this. This past few days, I've been carrying this uh, Balisong. It's, it's uh, not too heavy. It's not as light as these knives it's not too slim but it's not too bulk yet at the same time it's 133 grams also sometimes I carry this naman I carry this uh, electrician's pocket knife by Sears they say it's made by Camilo's I'm guessing this one is heavier the heaviest of them all 148 grams that's quite heavy in the pocket remember that I'm carrying these 
just in the pocket. So I need a small uh, flashlight and a small knife. These are just the basic ones. Sometimes this, the Spider Codelica. 159 grams, 160, around 960 grams. This is the stainless steel model with half uh, plain, half serrated edge. Sometimes uh, this one also. Ganzo. Ganzo Firebird, 175 grams. It's quite big and bulky in my pocket. I will carry this if I am not um, worried about concealment about concealing it because it's uh, quite a large pocket knife I carry these the small ones if I am going out in the town going to the office going to the market just casual um, walking around I always carry a knife a small knife and a small flashlight and of course, my phone wallet keys. Without the light, the Balisong is 86 grams. This is a double blade uh, Camillus knife, 902. It weighs 58 grams, around 60. The Sanren Mu is 34 grams. The Japanese Higonokami is very light as well, 41 grams. Anything below 50 grams is very light for me. 32 grams for the Bantam. And uh, Sears Electrician's Knife is... Oh! 100 grams ka agad. 100 grams for this Sears knife. It's quite heavy because the blade is thick. See? The blade is quite thick. Just the Spider Codelica. 112 grams. This one is a gift from Kuya Binky. Thank you, Kuya Binky. The Firebird Ganzo is 128 grams. And uh, this one is the Leatherman Rebar. I only carry this Leatherman Rebar in my pocket if I have a, a heavy jeans or a thick jeans or usually I carry this in a pouch. I do not carry this in a uh, light jeans or khaki jeans it's heavy and bulky bulging total weight is 188 grams it's heavy sometimes uh, if the circumstances does not permit carrying of a knife I carry this one it's a it's an ordinary pen but it has a metal body metal body it doesn't have any knife in it nothing sharp but it's pointy and it's metal and it's a pen and it's just 23 grams 23 grams okay now let's weigh my other flashlight so you've seen this the jet 1 mk sometimes i carry this the convoy s2 it has uh, three modes and five modes a low medium high and you cycle it when it blinks. There. Low, medium, high. Strobe and SOS. I usually leave this at the three mode setting. How much does this uh, weigh? The Convoy S2. It weighs a whopping 131 grams. 131 grams considering that you have the your phone wallet and keys almost half a kilo already so if you put a knife another knife maybe this one plus 100 grams this is 100 grams so more than half a kilo 572 grams if you put this the heaviest one but it this is, has the most tools obviously if you put it there well more than half a kilo 132 grams for the convoy s2 this one is 153 grams for the surefire c2 centurion 
This one has only one mode, bright mode. I bought the bulb. Uh, this is a replacement bulb already. The original bulb of the C2 Centurion is an uh, incandescent one. But this, I exchanged it with a LED from SOS Survival Shop. So now, uh, I will show you what is the heaviest that I carry sometimes. No pouches, just in the pockets. The heaviest flashlight that I have, the Centurion, that's 370 plus the rebar. I have to have uh, thick jeans to, to carry this with me. And plus phone wallet keys. 682 grams, almost 700 grams. Almost, almost 3 fourths of a kilo. No pouches, just the pocket. I'll show you the lightest uh, configuration. Jet MK1, M1K, the lightest. The Victorinox Bantam Economy. 420 grams. That's it. 420 grams for this whole setup. That's the lightest that I can go. 420 grams, I have a light. I have light, I have multi-tool, I have my keys. Uh, pry bar, wallet, and phone. When not on a casual day, or going out in the field, I usually carry this. Out in the field meaning going to the provinces, going to uh, activities, etc. I carry this. This is the Condor pocket pouch. Condor EDC pocket pouch. And the, uh, I, I think you've seen this in the previous videos. When I'm carrying this, I am more confident to carry more heavy stuff because it is tough and it can go on my belt, it can go on a strap. I sometimes I put a strap inside here and carry it uh, across the chest sometimes. I put my flashlight here, a heavy flashlight and my heavy multi-tool inside. I have here pens, a lighter, pencil, chapstick sometimes, sometimes chapstick, sometimes something else, I don't know. ID cards here, some medicine sometimes I put here, but most of the time it's just band-aid. Band-aid and some cash. I have a paracord inside, I put in my flashlight, I put in my multi-tool. The heavy stuff because the lighter stuff I put inside my pocket. Inside here are vitamins, uh, notepad, patches. This is a snug pack, all weather notebook from Pathfinder gear. I made a video on this uh, having it wet in the caves. This is a card with some masking tape on it for emergencies. Wound dressing, sterile wound dressing. These are from, these are the bigger ones, bigger than the band-aids here. These are from SOS Survivors Outdoor Shop. I carry these around with me out in the field every time. I do not carry this uh, in the city most of the time because it's bulky and it calls too much attention to me. Shadong pansinin. Okay, I put everything here. Flashlight. Multi-tool, Condor pocket pouch. I, I think I bought this from Tactical Asia. There you go. How much does it weigh? My stuff here weighs 600 grams. 600 grams include your phone, your wallet, and your keys. Almost one kilo. It weighs almost one kilo. If I exchange, I think we can get to one kilo. If I exchange the Convoy S2 with the Surefire. Heaviest I can go to carry with me on, a, on my person here. Here. 
624 grams plus phone wallet keys 963 grams 964 but as they say two is one one is none so I should be carrying another flashlight of course this is my lightest setup the Jet 1 MK and the Victorinox Bantam Economy but if I really really need uh, when I'm going out in the field for a longer period of time, I carry this, I carry this, and one more essential stuff that I carry or we carry in the field when we're going out, going to the mountains, going to the beach, going to the ocean and island hopping, carry this. The first aid kit, I think it's one essential piece of gear. That's very important. Uh, this one is from Survivor's Outdoor Shop. It's a complete set. It has all the essentials that you need. Let's do this for another video. So there you have it. Um, our lightest setup and our heaviest setup. 80 grams for the Jet Beam Jet 1 MK. The Victorinox Bantam Economy with leather scales. And my heaviest would be this one, the Surefire Cito Centurion combo with the Leatherman Rebar. It's 342 grams. That's heavy. I mean, I'm sure there are other lighter setups uh, out there. A smaller light or a thinner light with uh, AAA batteries or something else. And a smaller um, knife. But this is what I have and maybe, who knows, we'll buy some lighter stuff in the future. Thank you for watching this episode. If you have other questions or suggestions for topics uh, in the next videos, please comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe for more videos like this. Okay, thank you and bye-bye.